it's an evolution of communication technology. Mm. So it's not as if it's a nice to have or, yeah. or it's something completely different yeah. either. So yeah. I mean, we've always, I mean, in the history of, of uh, construction, the only way anything gets constructed is through communication yeah. of information. So yeah. even the pyramids yeah. were constructed by people communicating with each other. Wait a minute, through. I thought that was the aliens. But anyway, we'll get into that <laughs> in another one. Yeah, so um, communication of information is the only way that people mm. can collaborate. Mm. And the technologies of communication have evolved mm. over time from stone tablets yeah. to yeah. quills and ink and yeah. pencils and paper and, you know, computers, CAD. So th this is just a, an evolution in the way we uh, produce and communicate yeah. information. But the, the important thing is the communication part. Yeah. I mean, like you and I are talking now, we, yeah. we're communicating. And um, actually, communication doesn't happen unless you understand. Yeah. You know, if, you're, if you're not receiving what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. then communication hasn't happened. I'm just broadcasting, yeah. noi making noise, which my wife accuses me of very often. <laughs> but, Hi, Audrey. Uh, yeah, so so I think that we've got to put BIM in the context of that. We yeah. we have to share information with each other to describe a building or a piece of infrastructure. Um, that's probably the first thing about BIM is it's not just about vertical buildings. It's about Seven. the built environment. And, uh, and the information part is what we're communicating. And uh, the modeling part is the probably the part that most people find... Um, difficult to understand but it modeling is actually a, a word from information technology rather than construction um, construction because we've we've been modeling information yeah. forever yeah. I mean yeah. as a quantity surveyor when you produce a bill of quantities you you're modeling a cost cost information you know or, so, so really BIM in its context is a human evolution not a construction evolution if we look forget about construction and look at our daily natural lives we're evolving in terms of our communication and technology in our daily lives, whatever we're doing. That's exactly what it is. It's just yeah. a, a way of communicating be between us. I mean, if, we, if you and I are going to collaborate on a project, um, you know, I've got to communicate my ideas to you so yeah. that you can put some costs around it or measure it or whatever. And, uh, and the better that communication is, the better that collaboration is going to go. So if, if you don't understand what I'm saying, yeah. uh, what I'm describing, yeah. then there's going to be miscommunication, misunderstanding, yeah. and the whole thing is going to fall down. So yeah. you know, throughout history, we're looking at the way we communicate with each other. Yeah. You know, it's really funny because some people say, well, we don't do 3D. Yeah. Well, the built environment's always been 3D. 3D. Like yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it exists in 3D. In, yeah. in the past, we've communicated that through a series of two-dimensional abstractions yeah but we were still communicating a 3d uh, artifact yeah, you know, like yeah. A, even the end result even if it's a flat construction like a road yeah. like there's pipes below the, the roads there's three dimensions there's always three dimensions yeah. involved you're just communicating those three dimensions in different ways so the most efficient way obviously is just to communicate three dimensions in three yeah. dimensions the less efficient way is to communicate three dimensions in two, two dimensions, dimensions. Yeah. <laughs> or, even, or even one, one dimension, dimension. Yeah. and then back to three dimensions yeah, so. yeah. and then of course you there's always an element of time to anything like mm. when should something happen yeah so yeah. i mean that's the fourth dimension okay yeah so we yeah and like we so that in that sense boom isn't new at all like we've always been communicating yeah. those dimensions yeah. and processes but one of the worst things about boom is the acronym because yeah. it's for those who understand BIM, it's useful. Yeah. Like it's just, instead of saying building information modeling every yeah. time, yeah. we just use the acronym and we, we yeah. both understand. But if you don't understand BIM, then it's, yeah. it's meaningless. Yeah. It's like, uh, I mean, imagine somebody going to a meeting and hearing BIM and not knowing what it is. Yeah. So they might come back to their office and say to the secretary, would you look up what this BIM thing is? And yeah. should type BIM into Google. And the first thing that will come up is BIM.ie, which is Board Ishkamara. Yeah. And, and <laughs> you know, the, that means the Fisheries Board of yeah, Ireland. Yeah, 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 so yeah. the report back would go, well, they're talking about fishing. fishing. <laughs> <laughs> um, what has that got to do with my building? Exactly. You know? So, you know, like that. And what's happening there is a miscommunication. So yeah. there's a misunderstanding of communication. So, and, I mean, another example might be you and I. Mm we might talk about specs because, you know, yeah. I'm an architect, I'm trying to communicate something to you to measure, to cost, yeah. you know, 
So you have an understanding of, of specs as specification documents, yeah. Yeah. and we, we think, but, but I might say, well, Russ, I've got my specs in my pocket. Yeah. And you say, oh, stupid architects carrying this bit, paper with 500 yeah. pages of useless <laughs> information around with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it's, uh, yeah. you know, we might be talking about specs. So, yeah, you know, communication yeah. breaks down when the, the acronym yeah. being used is yeah. misunderstood. Yeah. So, and that's the problem with BIM. It's, it's a useful acronym for those who understand it, but yeah. it's not a useful acronym yeah, for, for those who don't understand it.